what is up guys welcome back to a new video and today we have some big news and big drama uh, in the roblox community so yeah let's get straight into it we have roblox news twitter accounts being run by bots now to your disappointment these accounts might uh, were run by bots well that you might not be seeing those as much anymore um because you're gonna have to pay to get those apis soon so yeah it's, you might not see them as much moving on to the next thing roblox breaking your uh, player record count with 9.7 million right it's absolutely crazy that is wow i that is, i think roblox now is one of the biggest platforms in the world maybe even the biggest i've never heard of a game having 10 million players nearly 10 million maybe fortnite yeah fortnite think got 32 million which is crazy which is absolutely insane that roblox is even that close thinking about three years ago we were struggling to get 300k now we have 9.7 million wow and games like pet simulator x getting 1.1 million that on its own is top like top 10 steam like top 10 games in the world like for for example steam which is one of the biggest game uh, platforms to uh, download games and uh, play games that is they are one of the biggest platforms in the world like full stop and looking at pet sim and some of the biggest games on the that platform it's probably one of the most you know this is a school night and it has uh, nearly 100k people playing that's already like top top tier uh games in the world and games on steam that would place it in names of, of titles like uh cs go and uh apex legends and all of the and destiny 2 they're crazy triple a title games and it's even it's just crazy to think that a robots game is even um, overtaking some of those which is absolutely i can't wrap my mind around that that is absolutely that's absolutely insane the next topic is developers getting mad about Roblox going down. Now, Roblox servers are extremely good. If you didn't know, Roblox shares servers with some AAA games like you might know, like Fortnite, Valorant, um, uh, Apex Legends. There, there are a few of the big ones um, that the that they share servers with. Um, so yeah, they're not terrible servers. They're, they're they're great servers but where you have 9.7 million people playing at the same time and a big game like pet simulator x you might find a lot of games like pet simulator x and doors and all of that when they update um you get uh update rejoin uh text come on the screen and like seven what a million kids go and leave the the game and rejoin um there's actually a tweet about it. I'll pull it up on screen right now. Um, rejoining the game. That's everyone leaving and everyone rejoining it. It overflows the Roblox servers. Therefore, they they can't they crash, um, which is a big problem. But it's very very understandable. Like, imagine trying to hold one million little Timmies leaving a game and joining it again at the same time that's, cr that's a crazy amount to uh, sustain on servers like that's a crazy amount of weight to go on a server and it crashes almost every time uh it's kind of suck though that it crashes on one of the biggest days of the week for roblox's play account as that's on the weekends saturdays um which is a way a lot of games update then because a lot of more a lot more kids and a lot more people aren't going to be coming home from work or aren't going to be working or uh, in school so that's why peter uh, games like that update um during that but developers were mad that uh gay uh the roblox went down because they lose thousands of dollars um from roblox going down obviously because they can't make money while no one's playing their game um so yeah they were mad about that can understand why but then i can also understand why roblox um crashes because that's a crazy amount of weight on the servers and um yeah so they were tweeting about it and um yeah 
uh, to down and they can't publish updates. Might have been a little bit of Pet Sims fault, but we will move on to the next topic. Roblox letting developers control their Twitter. If you didn't see recently, uh, Roblox let um, developers control their Twitter account. I think it was for a week. Pretty cool. Um, the only thing is, Roblox's Twitter account and social media is extremely corporate, and um, it's very there's very strict rules on what you can tweet and what you can't. Uh, so I'd like to see a little a little bit more, you know, a little, little ease of those rules, kinda, um, because you'd like I'd like to see Roblox easing away from the corporate kind of and being kind of more casual. I don't know if that'll ever happen, but. I like to see that happen, but it's a really good idea, really good idea, but I think it was really restricted, and, um, yeah, it would be nice to see more, more of that in the future. Uh, Pet Simulator brought out a, pu a plushie recently, it's been brought to uh, my attention that they, they brought a plushie to their shop, you know, big surprise, the uh, Pet Simulator breaking the terms of service once again, I mean, it makes so much money for Roblox, they're not going to content delete it. I don't know where that warning came from about a year ago or a few months ago. I can't remember if it was a year ago or a few months ago. I don't know where that warning went. I don't know, they, they said they spoke to him and they changed the terms of service for that. But I guess we're not going to care about that. Then again, Minitoon literally asked to do that same thing. They didn't let him. They let him Preston. I've got, I'm just going to say that, but yeah, they, they, apparently, they released a plushie, right? No big problem. But if we look at the price tag, thing hell, what the heck, what is that? £300. I think Preston has turned into a flipping wallet at this point. £300! Just for clarification on the price for that, you can get an Xbox Series S for that amount. Hell, it's nearly an Xbox Series X for that amount. You could rent a car for a day. But this, this thing, that previously sold, uh, 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 look, I don't want to dis people's art. It, it's crazy good art. It, it looks good. And the quality looks really good. But £300? For a flipping rabbit? I mean, <laughs> sorry. It, it's a cat, but it looks like a, it looks like a rabbit a little bit. But come on, it's £300. For a, it's meant to be exclusive, I know, but make it a little bit more. Not £300. Three hundred fifty pounds going on four hundred. I don't I, look. I don't think these are going to sell out anytime soon. If they do, they might actually because the flipping NFT sold out pretty quickly, didn't they? But three hundred pounds. Three hundred pounds. You're really going to make people angry. I've got to say that you're really going to make people angry. That is a crazy amount. I don't think a pet should ever be that much. They're, they're breaking the terms of service as it is. But £300? That's a crazy, stupid amount. But we'll see what happens. It's a toy, for God's sake, with a pet that comes with it. I don't know why. I don't know why. But, yeah, I guess. That's all the news for today, though, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, go and watch this one. Uh, whatever YouTube's recommending you. Uh, and yeah, see you in the next one. Bye!